Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News and welcome again to another exciting part, which is actually part four of uh, creating a tier storage spaces with deduplication. Uh, I think on part one, I'm over here looking at my notes. You know, I apologize for being rude and not looking at you guys. Uh, but in part one, I showed you guys how to create a storage space. Part two, we did a modify, we modified the disk to implement tearing. On part three, we created a tiered volume with deduplication. And today I'm going to show you guys how to create a new user file share. So again, I'm using Microsoft's virtual labs because I don't have the capacity at home to do half of this stuff. I don't have like an iSCSI uh, SAN or I don't have like a major Hyper-V. This is the best way that you guys or us IT guys can learn. You know, just go into these virtual labs. They're there for you to learn. I'm just here doing these videos for you guys, uh, explaining it in more detail of what you have to do and why you have to do it so you guys can just understand it a little better. Again, all this information, like the documentation, the PDF, I'm going to put it under the link so you guys can go check it out. Also, I'm going to provide the link for the virtual lab so you guys can go test that out and, uh, you know, play around with it and, you know, leave some comments and see what kind of experience you dealt with the virtual lab. So let's get started. So, again, I'm still logged in within the admin uh, workstation. Uh, the admin workstation is a Windows 8.1 Pro which has all the remote service um, administrating tools and uh, it wants me to go into my server manager which I'm already inside my server manager and uh, within server manager we need to go click in files and storage and services. You want to go into shares and within shares we need to go into task and we're gonna create a new we're gonna create a new uh, new share cool uh, this is where the documentation kinda gets iffy they don't really tell you what specific profile to use okay so I'm going to do an SAB share quick and I'm gonna hit next and then from here it wants you to pick the DC because it looks like the DC is where all the all the high scuzzy stuff is at if you guys remember in the issue uh, video the first part of the video I show you guys this 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 nice little chart and the DC is what contains a virtual iSCSI SAN to provide storage for your clustered nodes on a storage network so that's the reason why we're picking DC all the time during this video series so C and if you guys remember I believe in parts uh, I'm over here looking at my notes and I believe in part three yeah part three we pick H the letter H, right? Because that's what Microsoft wanted. Again, you can pick any letter you want, but we picked H. And we're going to hit next. And let's give it a share name. Now, they provide you a share name, but again, uh, depending on your work environment, you're probably following your guidelines. But they want us to call it user dash docs. And again, the local path would be shared, shared. Uh, user docs and this would be the path that you will navigate to it you know whack whack DC user docs and uh, next and uh, they don't really go in detail in other settings but it basically just tells you go next 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 but uh, by default it, it does allowing it allows caching of the share caching makes the content of the share available to offline users this is really great especially if something happens to your server this, this stuff is still there so that's pretty cool if the branch cache for the network file role service is installed you can enable branch cache on the share now if you if you're dealing with a huge enterprise uh, company that has uh, an active directory each domain or has like a, a forest or ch a child of uh, active directories and is all connected to your colo to your main site um, and you have like a file server that's all that Branch branch cache is the way to go when it comes down to that kind of that kind of scenario, that kind of layout. Uh, enable access base uh, emulations. Uh, I'm not gonna doesn't it doesn't seem something that I'm gonna be needing for this virtual lab. Uh, crypt data access. Uh, I'm not gonna deal with that either. Uh, but I think I think if more of a production, you probably want to encrypt your data access because it's more secure. Remember, this is very important information that you have. Uh, you know, for you know, from your users, this is all data is important, no matter what, right? So we're gonna hit next. Uh, permissions. These are all the custom permissions. Again, uh, permissions to access the files on the share are set using the combinations of folder permissions, share positions, 
uh, permissions and uh, occasionally a century access policy so it looks like everyone has full control I don't know if you want everyone to have full control of your you know of this particular share if you guys creating it in your environment so we're gonna leave it as is we're gonna hit next a nice little uh, confirmation and uh, we're gonna hit create and uh, it creates it it's real simple real quick and that's awesome uh, so that that's about it guys that's that's it that's how you create a new user file share uh, within your files and storage services again uh, this is part four of a uh, tier storage spaces and deduplication uh, playlist or kind of series kind of thing. I'm using Microsoft Virtual Labs because again I don't kind of I don't have this kind of environment at my at, at work or at home. So this is the best time for me to play around and break it and not worry about it, right? <laughs> I think on the next video I'm gonna um, on the next video on the next Virtual Lab. Uh, we're gonna test and validate the deduplication, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, I think this is gonna consist of a lot of PowerShell, a lot of creating folders and copying stuff over. So that's pretty cool. So if you guys have any questions, leave it at the bottom of the description, uh, at the comment section actually. Uh, and I catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.